Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back to another epic comparison, screen size comparison, design, uh, speakers, uh, uh, and of course camera comparison, Huawei Mate 20 versus Xiaomi Mi 9, yes, one of the best flagships right now on the market, uh, uh, price tag for the, they are very similarly priced, around $600, so it's a really good comparison here for us, uh, uh, if you want to check the speed test and the gaming comparison, that will be online on my YouTube channel, uh, but for now, this is uh, part 2, and and also ninjas uh, make sure to support my channel shop online with my links below if you want to decide to buy any of these smartphones or something else you can have the buying links below for the gearbest and banggood support me ninjas let's begin okay the design is something just uh, an excusez-moi for me because i have a right my right hand is broken ninja, so i can't do a proper comparison here to hold them in the same time but quickly let me just show you here that uh, example huawei mate 20 uh, pro has a two noise cancellation microphone uh, huawei mate 20 has a two noise cancellation microphone ir blaster and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top what do we have with the mi 9 with the mi 9 we have only ir blaster and noise cancellation microphone in jazz you see you see? Can you see that? Yeah, it's just there. And just we don't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with this device. On the right side, we have volume rocker and power button with the Mi 9. On the bottom, we have uh, Type C USB port, one speaker, and one main microphone. And on the left side, we have uh, a dual SIM acceptable slot without an SD card, and we have the kind of a new AI button with the MIUI 10 smartphones. Uh, on the right side, for the Mate 20, we have volume rocker and power button. Uh, on the bottom, we have a Type C USB port. Uh, we have a main speaker and we have a, uh, of course main microphone and on the left side we have uh, of course the sim tray a dual sim tray and also accepts uh, sd card so it's a win-win for the mate 20 3.5 millimeter telephone jack and an sd card support it is a win-win for the mate 20 and also the audio quality it is better regarding a mic recording because it also has uh, more advanced noise cancellation microphones uh, remember that anyway so let's begin here regarding screen wise and also regarding the heaviness uh, both of these smartphones uh, are light uh, mate 20 is also light for the size itself it is a taller uh, smartphone but uh, mate 20 it is heavier 188 degree uh, 188 grams versus 173 grams mate nine uh, um, xiaomi mi 9 is very light bro unbelievable but uh, xiaomi did improve a lot regarding the design itself thickness uh, mate 20 it is thicker because it does have a bigger battery 8.3 millimeter versus 7.6 millimeter ninjas uh, also, we have, uh, uh, of course, beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, design on the back. It's not metal. Remember that while with the Mate 20, uh, we also have a glass and frames are for metal and also frames are for metal with the, uh, with the Xiaomi Mi 9. Beautiful, beautiful design from both of these smartphones. And also, both of them do have the water, block, water drop notch. And uh, I can say that the Mate, uh, Mate 20 has a slightly thicker, uh, basically slightly thicker uh, the water water drop notch is like for maybe five percent bigger, man. So again, it's not a big difference. Uh, the the bezels. Let me just take just a minute. Okay, I just took the cases, Ninja, so you can see by yourself. Uh, the vessels, the vessels on the bottom are thinner with the Mate 20. Uh, they are thinner. Uh, also on the side, the side vessels are just slightly thinner. The difference it is, big difference it is on the bottom. I have to admit that the big difference it is on the bottom. Side vessels, very similar, but slightly thinner with the Mate 20. And on the top, uh, again, let me just see, let me just see. Uh, same, bro, same, almost same. Uh, the, the Mi 9 does have more curves. I have to admit that they do have more curves. Uh, but remember that the Mi 20, it is a more wider smartphone, uh, while it's also in the height higher there. Mi 9, it is kind of more usable for one hand users. And let me just visit regarding design and materials. Uh, we're gonna go quickly right now to the screen itself. Uh, check it out check it out so what do we have oh boy i'm gonna find i'm gonna find of course a uh, beautiful uh, youtube video for us and then we're gonna judge and check it out uh, but so far what i can see here that the uh, mi 9 it is uh, brighter it just it is brighter indeed let's see here to this one beautiful beautiful Anyway, let me just find some video and then we're going to move also different colors, bro. You can see that I prefer more the colors, but uh, Mate 20 does have a, a eye certified screen. So it is a bit more warmer, but it is more safer for your eye vision. Can you just, here we go. We are in, uh, in YouTube uh, running the same video, 1080p resolution. Both of these smartphones have uh, a very similar uh, resolution of the screen itself because they are not quad HD uh, displays. Nevertheless, the Mi 9 is on the top and it is a 6.4 inch screen. Super AMOLED, so it's a Samsung panel. And just remember that Samsung panel, let me just 
there we go now it's going to be in the same time yeah uh, samsung panel while well, we have on the bottom with the mate 20 lcd ips a slightly larger screen 6.53 inches uh, 1080 with 2244 uh, resolution 1080 with 2340 381 ppi 403 ppi with the mi 9 Corning Gorilla Glass protection and we have a, a screen brightness with the Mi 9 it is uh, slightly there higher and it is just a minute right now it just looks a little bit because the Mi 20 here is on the bottom let me just try yeah check it out both of them are gorgeous screens bro both of them are gorgeous screens right now here uh, looking a uh, straight point there Slight, yeah, different. Not slightly. Uh, the difference is big in the colors, bro. The difference is big in the colors. Some of you will prefer Mi 20. Some of you will prefer the AMOLED with the Mi 9 because it does have that true blacks, the deep color, the deep blacks, which uh, obviously you can't when you're looking at the night. You won't see the difference between the vessels and the screen itself, bro. So it's amazing. Uh, anyway, um, again. Uh, they are both certified HDR10 certified uh, devices, DCI-P3. Uh, and of course, we have always on display with the Mi 9 since we have the Samsung uh, panel there. Also, Corning Gorilla Glass 6. Corning Gorilla, Corning Gorilla Glass 6 with the Mi 9. It will win for the people who do care for the Corning brand. Again, I just have to mention that because Mate 20 doesn't offer Corning Gorilla Glass 6, bro. Anyway, so uh, let's move on uh, to the viewing angles. The, of course, we're going to che check the viewing angles. And ag again, excuse me, just for my uh, comparison, because I have only one hand, so it's really difficult for me to, uh, of course, compare them in the same time. Really difficult. Okay, Ninja, so we have Mate 20 on the left side and Mi 9 on the right side. And this is where the basically the Samsung panel will uh, will win in 99% cases against the LCD LTPS. It is the viewing angle. So you can see by yourself that it is brighter from this angle, more visible. Again, some people maybe won't like to have a, a really great screen uh, regarding the viewing angles. But just check here this position, how brighter and how richer the colors and more vibrant are with the, some, uh, with the Samsung panel on the right side and the Mi 9. So many people will prefer, of course, the Mi 9. Check it out, bro. Check it out here from different angles. If you look uh, directly, then it's uh, not that uh, you can't you can't see the difference. Only you can see in the different colors there, color shifting there. But uh, regarding the brightness and viewing angles, you can't see when you are uh, looking directly. Even the camera can see uh, show you that, bro. Nevertheless, again, we can see by some of the Samsung panel overall will win, bro. Overall score goes to the Mi 9. Okay, Ninja, so let's go with the speaker test. Uh, we're gonna go with the Mate 20 on the left side, firstly. Max volume, YouTube. Dreams, they fill in the words. We hear all the worst of all. And the blood runs dead. Oops, damn it. Just a minute. My bad. Remember, Mate 20 has a stereo speakers, bro. The sound is coming also from here. <laughs> it's really cool. While well, with the Mi 9, it doesn't come. Mi 9? Very strong, bro. Okay, Ninjas, I think you get the point here. Me 20 will win regarding the stereo speakers and kind of gives you a more kind of cleaner sound while the Mi 9 gives you more bass and it, uh, it's stronger, Ninjas. It is slightly louder. Again, you can judge by yourself. This is what you get with me right now with this comparison. Now we're going to move to the camera size uh, side and I hope you're going to enjoy this really quick, small, short comparison between these two flagship right now. One of the best uh, smartphones that you can get for the money that you are spending next to the OnePlus 60, obviously. Obviously. Anyway, uh, subscribe, share, and like. Let's move on to camera. Okay, Ninja, so this is just a special short video comparison. Huawei well, we Mate 20 versus Pocophone F1. Uh, my face in the focus. If, if you are a vlogger and if you want to see the quality, how these two smartphones uh, perform in the camera segment regarding just uh, 
vlogging sign? Yeah, vlogging sign. That's it. Peace. Okay, Ninja, so this is just a special short video comparison. Huawei Mate 20 versus Pocophone F1. Uh, my face in the focus. If, if you are a vlogger and if you want to see the quality, how these two smartphones uh, perform in the camera segment regarding just uh, vlogging side? Yeah, vlogging side. That's it. Peace. Okay, Ninja, so this is just a special short video comparison. Huawei Mate 20 versus Pocophone F1. Uh, my face in the focus if, if you are a vlogger and if you want to see the quality how these two smartphones uh, perform in the camera segment regarding just the uh, vlogging side yeah vlogging side that's it peace okay ninjas welcome back so this is the selfie camera comparison Huawei Mate 20 versus Xiaomi Mi 9 the newest flagship from the Xiaomi company let's do 360 for all together and then we're gonna do also the video stability test just for, for a few seconds I mean it's enough what the heck I can already see that uh, these two smartphones have a completely completely different colors bro again for the full judgment I will have to upload on the laptop and check it out all together again I don't know how can you hear me because I am like in a distance of two meters anyway let's go now and try to walk This is a selfie camera because my friend is holding these two smartphones on the flip side and that's why I'm, I'm able to uh, do this video in this style. Anyway, uh, hope you're enjoying. Let's go next. Okay Ninjas, welcome back. So this is the selfie camera comparison. Huawei Mate 20 versus Xiaomi Mi 9, the newest flagship from the Xiaomi company. Let's do 360 for all together and then we're going to do also the video stability test just for, for a few seconds. I mean, it's enough. What the heck, I can already see that uh, these two smartphones have a completely, completely different colors, bro. Again, for the full judgment, I will have to upload on the laptop and check it out all together. Again, I don't know how can you hear me because I am like in a distance of two meters. Anyway, let's go now and try to walk. This is a selfie camera because my friend is holding these two smartphones on the flip side and that's why I'm, I'm able to uh, do this video in this style. Anyway. Uh, hope you're enjoying. Let's go next. Okay, ninjas, welcome back. So this is the selfie camera comparison. Huawei Mate 20 versus Xiaomi Mi 9, the newest flagship from the Xiaomi company. Let's do 360 for all together. And then we're going to do also the video stability test just for, for a few seconds. I mean, it's enough. What the heck? I can already see that uh, these two smartphones have a completely, completely different colors, bro. Again, for the full judgment, I will have to upload on the laptop and check it out all together. Again, I don't know how can you hear me because I am like in a distance of two meters. Anyway, let's go now and try to walk. This is a selfie camera because my friend is holding these two smartphones on the flip side and that's why I'm able to uh, do this video in this style. Anyway. Uh, hope you're enjoying. Let's go next. Well, welcome back, Ninja. So this is the camera comparison, back camera comparison, 1080p, 30 uh, FPS, uh, 30 FPS video sample, Xiaomi Mi 9 and uh, Huawei Mate 20. You will have beneath this video, of course, in the titles, which smartphone it is. Uh, and nevertheless, let's go now and do 360 for you. And we're going to also judge the video stability of these two smartphones. There you go. Anyway, let's now walk. Come with me. Well, welcome back, Ninja. So this is the camera comparison. Back camera comparison. 1080p, 30 uh, FPS, uh, 30 FPS with a sample. Xiaomi Mi 9 and uh, Huawei Mate 20. You will have beneath this video, of course, in the titles, which smartphone it is. Uh, and nevertheless, let's go now and do 360 for you. And we're going to also judge the video stability of these two smartphones. There you go. Anyway, let's now walk. Come with me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Return of the man. Return of the man. Oh, oh, oh. 
Smartphones from Chicka Chicka Ching 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 China. That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!